verses in here that's like you know that I got actually highlighted in my actual sword alright and um that I felt that needed to be uh you know uh, that I had paid, paid a little bit more attention to or, or at least you know uh you know uh spoke upon alright this is the book of Psalms chapter 37 verse 1 it says uh, a psalm of David it says uh it says fret not it says fret not thyself it says, uh, neither be thou envious uh, against the workers of iniquity. Now let's look at that word fret, right? I'm just going to say pretty much worry. Um, and it comes from the, 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 the Hebrew, what, 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 chara, right? Which means um, to blow or grow or grow warm, figuratively, to, usually to blaze up or of anger, zeal, jealously. Jealous, jealously, be angry, burn, be displeased, uh, earnestly fret self, uh, grieve, be waxed, hot, be increased, kindled, uh, uh, very, be work, wroth, wroth. All right. Uh, and now it says to be hot, furious, burn, become angry, be kindled, to burn, anger, uh, kindle, to be hang, angry, with, be increased, to burn, uh, kindle, to heat oneself in vexation. All right. So. Locky, I said on one video, um, one of the live streams said that it meant, I said it meant to be a worry. But actually, Locky, my fault. Got something stuck in my teeth. All right. Um, it says uh, that word means uh, to be angry. All right. That word fret. All right. It's Locky, man. All right. It says. Um, it says, uh, fret not, so it says, be angry, or, uh, or uh, anger not thyself because of evildoers, alright, uh, so you look, uh, all of us look around at each song to see what he got, see what he's doing, alright, um, in a way, you know, uh, it does anger you, but ultimately, man, you just have to understand that, uh, it's ordained of the Heavenly Father, and ultimately, man, it's, uh, it's the Lord that's doing it, uh, so, you know, we can be angry, all right, righteously, but um, at the end of the day, man, we just got to realize that the Mosai is doing it, uh, making Esau do all this madness for a reason, all right, for a purpose, all right? And uh, ultimately, that purpose is, is for us to learn um, how to behave and what not to do, all right? Now, I was continuing in the same verse. It said, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Yeah, because, and that which come to mind is that Proverbs 30, uh, I mean, that Proverbs 3, 30, 33 or 31, I'll say, envy not thou oppressor. Yeah, man, you ain't supposed to be envious of the damn devil, man. All right, because a lot of us, like I said, you see, huh? So like you, man. Kind of tired. You see Esau, um, uh, and what he has on the screen, like you know, as far as all this um carnal things, you know, what I mean, the private jets, you know, all the the whole nine. A lot of us, um, you know, see those things and you get envious of them. But um, we got the kingdom coming, man. So you know. Out of all that, man, you know, uh, the stuff that and the technology that Esau has and on, on this side, just brothers just know that we're going to get that and, and much more, all right? So we're going to get it and we're going to have, we're gonna have righteous uh, gettings or, or belongings, all right? We're going to have nothing that's going to harm the earth or the ecosystem, man, all right? Because Esau got all these things, but it actually damages the earth and uh, surround us, man. You know, you look at cars, it, puffs, it uh, 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 puts out carbon monoxide, all right, and um, or, or carbon dioxide. Well, I forgot the other one because I know one of them is, is the one that humans breathe out. I think it's carbon, uh, carbon monoxide that cars pump out. Anyway, um, jets, uh, you know, they uh, in airplanes they, they push out uh, fumes, harmful, um, you know, engine fumes and 
jet fumes that uh, damage the air that we breathe and um, you know anything else that you can think of that's a creation of Esau because Esau we have to remember that he's still just a man and um, and that uh, with man comes mistakes alright with the most high it, there is no mistakes alright everything that he created uh, or that he had the Alahayim and Yahushua that's like that he had Yahushua and the Alahayim create it went perfectly with the ecosystem and it did the ecosystem and the earth no harm alright the damn devil thing he the most high took it upon himself to do start creating things um, that, and it does nothing but damage the society alright verse 2 man it says for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb yeah man so that's what's gonna happen you saw man they're gonna soon be cut down and like the scripture said they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be uh, withered away as the green herb man and that's what needs to happen man this damn devil don't need to keep continuing on man because once again if he does continue on you see exactly where we're headed yeah uh. yeah excuse me yeah but you see exactly where we're headed man we'd be um we'd be headed into um, a, a, a what they call it a, a dystopia all right our dystopia it's the opposite of uh um, of um of the other word all right which is you know uh the other one i forgot it's like my memory is you know kind of bad man but anyway um you know uh, he's always trying to paint paint that perfect picture as a uh, as a uh, as the world is, you know, uh, you know, perfectly, you know, uh, cool, but it's not. Ultimately, it's the complete opposite, man. This is verse thirty. This is verse three, man. It says, "Trust in the Lord and do good; so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed." Um, let me jump down a little bit. Uh, this is verse five. Commit thy way unto the Lord. I say, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. And that's what brothers is looking forward to, man. All right. Uh, what the Lord have ultimately uh, said that he was going to do, man. All right, let me read this again. Say, commit thy way unto the Lord. What does that part mean, man? I mean, your mindset, the way you think, the way you operate is going to be geared towards the way he wants things done. All right? And am I, and me saying that, does that mean that you're going to have a perfectly good life? Or you going to live completely righteous? You ain't going to sin? No. It, but it just means that your intentions and your will, and no matter what, what you do to go off on this side your attention and your will is ultimately was to, is to serve y'all by shimel shot like i say even if you do sin all right or you you might do something that's not like sinning but it's kind of you know i'm gonna just say it's, it's not uh um uh um what's the word i'm looking for it's a, it's a word that escapes me but, but it's not exactly um expedient all right to do all right, but you know, like I said, your intentions are right, in the most high knows your heart, so your intentions mean well. That's what it say. What that's what it mean by say, commit thy way unto the Lord. All right, it says, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Yeah, man. So if you put your whole thought process on the, on the Heavenly Father and the Son, and you throwing up the prayers and stuff like that, the Lord gonna bring what you praying for to pass, man. If it's in righteousness, all right. Uh, let me see. Uh. I wanted to get a few more out of here. This is verse 7. Uh, Psalm 37, verse 7. It say, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. It say, Fret not thyself because of, 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 of him who prospers in his way. And that's going back to what I was kind of saying in the first verse, man. You're not supposed to, um, you know, um, get angry with <laughs> or get worried about what Esau is doing, man. He pretty much is supposed to take it on the chin and just, you know, I mean, of course, we're going to be angry and righteously, all right, even when brothers at camp and stuff like that, but you're supposed to pretty much let Esau do what he's doing, because you can't, we don't got no control of it any damn way, all right, but that's why I said wait and say rest in the Lord and wait patiently, man, you got to patiently wait for this thing to come to pass, man, this ain't going to be no overnight uh, stuff, man, all right, a lot of brothers been in the truth, all right, and, and laboring for some years now, man, and we just, you know, still waiting patiently, man, so just remember man it takes uh it takes patience to be in this thing and uh possible bar brought that out that the word patience means to suffer all right but uh it says uh continuing the same verse it says uh it says uh in his way because of the man and who bringeth wicked devices to pass and what's oh what's a what's a wicked device man that chip all right because brothers haven't spoken on that chip 
uh, that, that much all right lately but we gotta continue on it like apostle tar said um we gotta continue pushing that chip but what's what's the wicked that's a wicked device man let me let me let me can go into that word real quick you know because this this is this man's goal man it's it's told to me um it's uh it's, it's to enslave every damn body man okay that's this this is what it says it's a plan usually evil machinations machination is sometimes good uh saga city wicked device discretion intent witty invention lewdness mischievous device thought wickedly man and that is you know a mischievous wicked device man all right so purpose uh discretion device plot purpose discretion devices yeah man all that all those things are um are uh, uh wicked uh uh when well, i'm saying not all those things but oh yeah all those things that esau's coming up with is wicked man for the most part but that that chip is ultimately the most wicked device that his man is coming up with man and he's trying to use that to enslave like i said the whole damn earth man he ain't got nothing else better to do but just to you know fuck with, fuck with people man all right you got all the money in the world all the women in the world you know the world at your the palm of your hand man you just you spend your whole life just making people's other people's lives hell what kind of man would do something like this man Psalms 37 verse 8 cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself in the west and any wise do evil for evil doers shall be cut off and this is what we waiting for the evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the lord they shall inherit the earth and that's what's about to happen man pretty much a, a, a swift a swapping of things man we gonna inherit the earth all right and you eat a mice man you gonna go into captivity all right un up under us all right thus said the scriptures um uh, verse 10 say fret and say for yet a little while and the wicked shall shall not be yea y'all shall diligently consider his place and shall not be yeah man because that's what we doing right now man most of our people you consider in his place and you thinking that you know he's gonna continue on but it's good say thou shall it shall not be he ain't gonna stay at the top forever man one day the lord gonna pull his motherfucker down he's gonna replace him with one that is righteous man which is Yahweh Shai and we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai that scripture speak about so we're gonna be right ruling right along with him man all right this is verse uh 11 in the same chapter and for Psalms 37 it said but the wicked shall I'm slacky I'm saying but the meek shall inherit the earth who is the meek it's the Israelites man all right the humble all right it's say like, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace and um and that's that's what's gonna happen man because that's ultimately what jake want jake want peace so it said we're going to delight in the abundance of peace man so once peace actually come man you're gonna be, gonna be praising the heavenly father and the son and then we're gonna just be you know we're gonna be living it up just off peace alone man to have peace upon earth and your household and in order and all that that right there is enough to get jake or any israelite you know um bring any israelite should i say happiness man um it says, verse 12, it said, The wicked plot up against the just, and Agashia upon him with his teeth. It said, The Lord shall laugh at him, for he see that his day is coming. And I'm going to end it on this probably. It said, The wicked have drawn out the sword and, and have bent their bow to cast down the, the poor and needy to slay uh, and to slay such a beat of upright conversation. Yeah, man, because Esau, really, he's willing to take us out, man. He's, and he's getting ready to... Um, you know, have his way with Jake, man. The Most High is gonna let him do that. And uh, it says uh, he's going to slay them to be a uh, be a right conversation, which is the brothers. The brother, the brethren are the only ones that speak in, in righteousness about what's uh, what they want to happen according to the scriptures. Nobody else is doing that, man. So the ones that uh, are, are, are upright conversation are the brothers. But um, bringing back Psalm 13, I'm end it. It says the Lord shall laugh. Uh, the Lord shall laugh at him. For he see if that his day is coming. Yep. And that day um, that the Lord is talking about is that uh, your destruction. All right. And you going to slavery. And when I say you, I'm talking about you white people. So-called white people, that is. You who are biblically known in the scriptures as Esau, uh, Edom. All right. Esau had a man. Esau had descendants called Edomites. All right. Which you Edomites uh, are the modern day. Are, are your, your modern day name you go under are Caucasians. So that I'm saying, I'll pray to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honor to the positive, Elder Gary Millstone, Shalom to Nakin.